Cass's hybrid hairstyle on dirty, crusty, relaxed hair. <laughs> Happy holidays! Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Cassie. So I know a lot of you guys want to see some relaxed hairstyles that I do. Today I'm gonna use some flexi rods to attain a curly looking hairstyles that you could use for any events. I know it's the holidays now, so if you have to go to a party, a celebration, whatever the case might be, I am sure that you could use this hairstyle. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> So guys, to get started, I will first put my hair into four sections, then into smaller ones later before I apply the flexi rods. The pack of flexi rods contains 12, but for today's look, I will only use seven flexi rods, four in the back and three in the front. Sounds like a plan? Okay, let's go. I will use the horseshoe method in which you bend your flexi rod just like so. To hold the curls into place, I am using a few pumps of this ORS mousse you see here, then add a little ojoba oil after. With that, I won't really have to apply an oil or serum when it becomes time for me to remove the rods. So basically, when doing the horseshoe method, one section of the hair will be further split into two smaller sections before starting to wrap the hair around the flexi rod just like that. Simple, right? And if this happens to your ends where they are sticking out, just unwrap the hair to wrap it again nicely around the rod so each area can be nicely curled up. See? Much better, right? No one is trying to look like alfalfa here, okay? <laughs> Another reason why the ends of your hair is not sticking properly to the flexi rod could be because your hair is not wet enough. That's the reason why you see me applying more mousse to the ends of my hair. My hair needed more products since I was trying to achieve this hairstyle on dry hair. To say more dry and dirty hair, okay? I'm just being real with you. I'm sure you can see the product buildups on my hair right now, but that is the point of this video anyway. You can still get a quick, beautiful hairstyle on your dirty, dry, relaxed hair and get to your next event if you did not have the time to wash your hair. It's life, right? By the end of this video, my hair will look so pretty that you will totally forget it was dirty. You won't be able to see it, period. I wasn't going anywhere anyway, plus my hair wash was the next day, so I was just having fun. I wanted to show you guys it does not have to always be perfect. We all humans, let's keep it real here, okay? And also, let's chat in the comments below. How many of you has rocked a beautiful hairstyle on dirty hair? Huh? It's okay. Just let me know. By the way, if you like this video so far, give it a big thumbs up and join the family by subscribing if you haven't done so. Turn on that little bell icon to never miss my uploads, guys. Can I also tell you a little secret? That was my very first time ever using flexi rods on my hair. Could you tell by the crooked look? <laughs> no judging, okay? So by the time I got to the front, guys, I was a pro. Okay, although they still look crooked, but your girl was a pro. That's it. Period. <laughs> Right now, I'm gonna use the ORS Thermal Last 2 in 1 Heat Defense and Shine Mist. So I'm gonna spray that. Smells good though. And I'm going to use my hair bonnet. I just wanna boost the drying process a little bit. On low heat, I got my heat protectant. We will see how those babies are looking right after I'm done. Gotta be real careful. At the start of this video, I call this hairstyle Cassie's Hybrid because some curls in the back were loose while others were tighter. Those Cassie's Hybrid loose and tight curls. So this could happen because the technique of wrapping them in the back wasn't exactly the same as the one used in the front or the back wasn't 100% dry. Who knows? But it worked out. There goes the tighter curls and look at them. Okay, I love it. 
They are well moisturized, shiny, but yet not weighed down. Very bouncy. All right. This little part got wet while showering, unfortunately. Oh well, I lost some of the curls, but it's okay. Do you like them so far, guys? Because I do. separate the curls as much as possible one by one and it takes a little time to separate and then I'm going to fluff them later with my hair fork I just wanted to say if you're not a big fan of heat just like me you don't have to use heat at all on this hairstyle my plan at the start of the video was to do it overnight but I didn't get a chance to do it like that so so I ended up using some heat just to boost the process after I air dried my hair for about like two hours and a half I was just in the house doing my things and let it air dry since the areas that towards the end were very like coiled and tight so I wanted to make sure they were dry so that's why I ended up using the coated dryer on my hair but that's something you don't have to do it could be totally heatless you could achieve the same type of look with that guys look at that who could say this is dirty hair huh I dare you say that <laughs> will you rock the style during this holiday let me know in the comments below and remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Check out my Relaxer Day video if you haven't watched it yet. And ciao, ciao. See you next time.